Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. Today we are going to discuss about diagonalization of matrix. So what is it about? In our previous videos related to eigenvalues and vectors, we have studied that how we can form a characteristic equation, then how can we find out um, eigenvalues and then vectors from them, right? Uh, proceeding with that, diagonalization of a matrix means you are forming a matrix which has only diagonal elements, okay? Now you are extracting it or you are forming it from parent matrix, okay? So how can you form it? Let me tell you how. This is an example, but before that, let me give you the generalization form that um, what are the formulas, what does it mean, diagonalization. Let's say you have a particular matrix A, the parent matrix like this. Now, if you want to find out diagonalization or you want to form uh, reduce this matrix into diagonalization or diagonal form, what you can do, find out, let's say, it has three eigenvalues, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, okay? Similarly, if you form the characteristic equation, find out uh, eigenvalues, so you will have eigenvectors as well. Let's say eigenvectors are x1, x2, x3 in the form x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 and x3, y3, z3 okay these are your eigenvectors then your diagonal matrix will be formed like first of all you have to uh, form a model matrix model matrix will be like if you let's say p will be the model matrix which will be in the form of like this let's say p is the model matrix and you have to do it like this x1 x2 x3 means you have to take these columns and make a matrix out of them okay when you will have model matrix then you have to find out diagonal matrix how if you multiply a with p so it will be a a with these these three x1 x2 x3 if you take it if you brought inside so these will be your three values. This is this will be your um, whole matrix and how you can find evaluate it. A will be your lambda 1. So lambda 1 x1 is this x1 lambda 2 x lambda 1 x2 lambda 1 x3. Okay. If it is x1 x2 x3. If it is x1 y1 z1 so you can write down here x1 y1 z2 z1. Okay. So AX2 will be lambda 2, X2 is this, okay, and your lambda 3 will be X3, lambda 3, X3, lambda 3, Y3, lambda 3, Z3, okay. When you split it in the form X1, Y1, Z1, X2, Y2, Z2, x3 y3 z3 okay x, this is this is a matrix formed by your eigenvectors and le, le, uh, what is left lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 in diagonal form this will be your diagonal matrix this will be your diagonal matrix I mean, uh, diagonal matrix means all the eigenvalues will be in the form of Diagonals will be arranged in the uh, in diagonal form. Okay, so how can we calculate it with the help of example? Let me tell you. So this is a. How can you so, uh, solve it? Your characteristic equation first. So which is you know it. You have seen my other videos. A minus lambda I equals zero, right? So a is. Because I, identity matrix has only diagonal elements as 1. So you will do like minus 1 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda, 0 minus lambda. Is, rest of the elements will be same. Okay? Now solve it. How can you find out it, it will be a determinant form? 
you know how to solve it. Minus 1 lambda hide these the row and column in which it is existing. So this is minus 2 lambda cross multiply. Minus 2 lambda minus minus plus lambda square. Minus is in formula minus minus plus 1. Okay. Then minus 2 hide these two. Minus lambda minus minus plus 1. Then minus 2 hide these. Minus 1 minus minus plus 2 minus lambda. Okay. Now solve it. You can multiply it. Minus 1 into these. Minus minus plus 2 lambda. Minus lambda square. Minus 1. Right? Then plus 2 lambda square. Minus lambda cube. Minus lambda. Minus minus plus 2 lambda. Plus minus 2. This is 2 minus 2 minus 1 is 1. Then minus 2. Minus minus plus 2 lambda, right? Now arrange it in decreasing order of the powers. So what it will be? Minus lambda cube. Then this is square, square. So 2 minus 1 is 1 lambda square. Then lambda is 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 to 5 lambda. And the constant terms, minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 5, right? Now you have to find out the roots with the help of hidden trial method. So this is the constant term. If you split it, it can be, its factor will be root 5 minus root 5 and 1. So put any one of them, let's say 1, minus 1 cube is minus 1, plus 1 cancel, one, 5 minus 5 cancels. So lambda is equal to 1 is a factor. And if you put lambda is equals to 1, that means lambda minus 1 and divide it, you know how to find out the factors, right? I'm just writing it down, explaining for those who don't know about it. So lambda, how you can do it? Minus lambda square, minus minus plus lambda square. This is cancelled, 5 lambda minus 5. Multiply with 5, 5 lambda, minus 5. Now, this is another root. Let me grab eraser or duster, whatever it is. So, now if you split it, it will be lambda minus 1, lam minus lambda square plus 5, equals 0, right? So, Lambda is 1 and 5 can be split into this, right? So your three idle val uh, values are lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 as 1, root 5, minus root 5 respectively. Now coming to next point, next step is to find out idle vectors, right? How can we find out idle vectors? By uh, simultaneously putting these values one by one. So if you put this value of 1 here, Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Minus 1. This is minus 1. And x1, y1, z1 are your first set of eigenvectors. Now multiplying it, minus 2x1 plus 2y1 minus 2z1 x1 plus y1 plus z1, you know how to multiply it, right? And then the equation will be minus x1 minus y1 minus z1. If you take minus common, it will be as same as these two, right? So consider first two, first two set. What you can do in it, you can multiply it with minus 2. So if you multiply it with minus 2, Let's do it on minus 2x1, 2y1, minus 2z1. If you multiply it with minus 2, and then subtract 4y1, and this is cancelled. So y1 is 0. If you put y1 here, that will be odd here. 
that will uh, result into x1 is equals to minus z1. So your eigen vectors are in front of x1 it is minus 1, y1 is y1 is 0, x1 is minus 1 and z1 is plus 1, right? So first set of your eigenvector is this. Let me write out write down here. These are your x1, y1, z1. That means set x1. Okay. Now moving on to the next point, which is finding out finding our second set. So if you put second value minus 1 minus root 5 2 minus root 5 minus 1 minus 1 this was lambda right so minus root 5 this is your matrix for lambda 2 then x2 y2 z2 now expanding it as well first row first column x2 plus 2y2 minus 2z2 x2 2 minus root 5 y2 plus z2 this one minus x2 minus y2 minus root 5z2 right okay now solving it um, you can take any of these let's say these two if you add them it will be cancelled what is left you can take y2 common what is left 2 minus 1 is 1 minus root 5 correct and here if you take z2 as common what is left 1 minus root 5 right so you can take 1 minus root 5 common and what is left inside y2 plus z2 and it will be 0 so y2 will be minus z2 correct now thereafter moving on if you put this value in any of these let's say for for instance first one minus 1 minus root 5 x2 plus 2y2 minus 2z2 if you put z2 as minus y2 minus minus plus 2y2 right correct then after what you can do 2 into 4y2 right and you can do it like minus 4y2 minus 1 minus root 5 right now you can cancel minus with minus if you take minus common right it will be formed and then you can rationalize usually we put the coefficient in front of the variable right as the eigen factor but here just to simplify we are using rationalization we are doing rationalization so 4y2 1 plus root 5 um, so this was 1 plus root 5, so obviously we have to multiply with 1 minus root 5, right? Um, now, taking this, 1 plus root 5, 1 minus root 5, a plus b, a minus b is a square minus b square, which is minus 4, 4 is cancelled with 4. So, x2 is, you can take it above, right? Take minus in numerator. So, your y2 was minus z2, your x2 this. So, x2 will be the coefficient in front, so root 5 minus 1. y2 will be 1 and z2 will be minus 1. All order doesn't matter, you can take minus 1, one here as well. So, your roots are, I mean, your eigenvectors are, root 5 minus 1, 1 and minus 1. You can write down here. This is your x2. x2, y2, z2, right? Similarly, you can find out third one. For third one, the value is 
minus root 5, right? So if you put minus root 5, it will be minus minus plus, minus minus plus, minus minus plus. Rest all like 1 minus 1 plus root 5. Then when you multiply with this, let's do it. Um, this row, this column, minus 1 plus root 5 x2, 2 and minus 2 are same. Then this one, x2, 2 plus root 5, y2 plus z2, minus 1, minus x2, minus y2 plus root 5, z2, right? Now, if you solve this, again, it will be cancelled. You can take here, this will be 2 minus 1 is 1, plus root 5, right? And here, 1 plus, so 1 plus, and then y2 will be as same as the previous one because it will be 0. Now, coming to this point, this is minus 1 plus root 5. Rest is same. When you put minus 2, z2 and that place minus y2, it will be plus. Oh, one thing, uh, yeah, 4y2, right? Minus 1 plus root 5. So, x2 will be 4y2. Just the thing which has changed is this. Now if you, you can write it like root 5 minus 1, right? Root 5 minus 1. So when you rationalize, it will be root 5 plus 1, root 5 plus 1. Correct? So 4y2, this is 1 plus root 5, a minus b, a plus b. 5 minus 1 is plus 4, 4 is cancelled with 4. So it is root 5 plus 1, right? So it will be root 5 plus 1, rest is same. Correct? Y2 is 1 and Z2 is minus 1. Alright. Order doesn't matter, as I told you. Now, for diagonalization, I mentioned earlier, what you need to do, you have to write the matrix in the form of, firstly, your eigenvectors in the form of matrix and then eigenvalues in the form of diagonal matrix. So, your eigenvectors are minus 1, 0, 1. Make sure you are writing down your eigenvectors in the form of column. Okay? Then, root 5 minus 1. 1 minus 1 and then root 5 plus 1, 1 minus 1. This is your model matrix, okay? And your diagonal matrix will be diagonals in the form of eigenvalues. And rest, diagonal matrix is itself, rest all elements are 0, only diagonal elements are there. So this is your diagonal matrix. I hope you understand this topic. And if you like it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Uh, till then, take care and see you soon. Bye.